As it is said, wealth is power, and the Qatari royal family, also known as the Altani dynasty, is one of the richest and most powerful families in the world. The Qatari royal family lives a life of unimaginable luxury and extravagance. Today, we'll get an exclusive look at how the Qatari royal family spends their $2 trillion fortune. Qatari Background the Al Thani's story begins with Sheikh Mohammed bin Thani, who united the Qatari tribes in 1851. The Al Thani dynasty rose to prominence and established a stronghold in the region, navigating a complex political landscape and forging important alliances. Fast forward to the 1940s, when vast oil and gas reserves in Qatar were discovered. This watershed moment transformed the nation's fortunes, propelling Qatar to become one of the world's wealthiest countries. The Al Thani's took advantage of their newfound wealth and have since shaped Qatar's economic and political landscape. Today, Qatar's ruling family, led by Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, wields considerable power, both domestically and internationally. They have strategically invested their wealth in numerous industries, such as finance, real estate, sports, and media, transforming Qatar into a global player. Aside from their financial prowess, the Al Thani's have embraced a vision for a modern and progressive Qatar. They have led ambitious infrastructure projects, such as the well-known Education City and the hosting of the FIFA World Cup 2022, which cost an unprecedented $300 billion in infrastructure and stadiums, wealth, and business. The royal family has reaped the benefits of Qatar's oil and gas exports, as they have a controlling interest in the country's national oil and gas company. Qatar produced 177 billion cubic meters of natural gas in 2021 alone, earning large sums in revenue. The Qatari royal family has spread their investments throughout the world. They have invested in diverse businesses and assets through the Qatar Investment Authority, a sovereign wealth fund owned by the royal family. The fund managed $450 billion in assets assets in 2021, investing in real estate, hotels, banks, and so much more. However, it is not all about extravagant lifestyles and investments. The Qatari royal family is also well known for their charitable contributions. They give generously to a variety of charitable causes and foundations. Among the organizations that have benefited from their generosity are the Qatar Foundation for Education, Science, and Community Development, and the Qatar Red Crescent Society. Let us now address the elephant in the room. The Qatari royal the royal family's fortune is estimated to be worth more than $335 billion, making them one of the wealthiest families on the planet. With such enormous wealth, they have wielded significant influence in Qatar's political and economic landscapes. Their wealth, however, has drawn criticism, particularly regarding their human rights record, lavish properties and estates. This distinguished dynasty lives a life of unrivaled luxury and opulence. From priceless art collections and luxurious properties to high-end investments, the Qatari royal family is truly living up to their trillion-dollar fortune. Let's take a look. Golden Palace in Doha The Doha Golden Palace is located in Doha, Qatar, in the West Bay Lagoon area. The palace is famous for its lavish design and luxurious materials. The entire palace is covered in gold and white marble, creating an awe-inspiring Site, estimated to be worth more than $1 billion. This palace is a true testament to grandeur, with an impressive 150 rooms, including 30 grand bedrooms, 20 lavish bathrooms, and even 10 magnificent swimming pools. But it does not end there. The Doha Golden Palace provides a range of royal amenities. Imagine watching the latest blockbusters in their private cinema, working out in their cutting-edge gym, or relaxing in their world-class spa. It's a luxurious paradise. Here's something incredible. The Doha Golden Palace isn't just a private residence. It also provides guided tours to the general public. Yes, you heard that right. This means you can witness the splendor of the palace firsthand. These tours allow you to immerse yourself in the grandeur of this extraordinary palace. Whether you are an architecture enthusiast or simply curious about the lives of the Qatari royal family, the exact cost of the Doha Golden Palace is unknown, but its estimated value 
value speaks volumes about the enormous expense associated with its construction. The extensive use of precious gold and pristine white marble, both renowned for their luxury and exclusivity, contribute to the palace's extraordinary price tag. The Doha Golden Palace represents wealth and power for the Qatari royal family. It represents a life of wealth and unparalleled luxury that most people can only dream of. It's no surprise that this architectural marvel has captivated both the general public and the media. People from all over the world are captivated by its beauty and the story it tells. The Royal Palace of Oman Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani built this architectural marvel in 2019 as a testament to extravagant living. The palace is shrouded in secrecy and overlooks the tranquil waters of Oman, providing breathtaking views that captivate the senses. This magnificent structure's construction began in late 2017 and was completed in 2019, displaying meticulous craftsmanship and attention to detail. The Oman Royal Palace, like the iconic Doha Palace, has a pristine white exterior adorned with a regal coat of gold, exuding majesty. The palace is situated in an unusual location, adjacent to the Al Saik military airport, nestled amidst the breathtaking Jebel Al Akhtar mountains. This unique location provides a sense of seclusion, while also providing easy access to transportation for the royal family. The royal family's influence and wealth, however, extends far beyond the borders of the Arab world. Their global reach is exemplified by their extensive investments and properties in various countries. Luxurious London mansions and estates. In addition to the Doha Golden Palace, the Qatari royal family owns a number of other notable properties, demonstrating their enormous wealth and penchant for extravagance. Among these properties is a mansion at 1, 2, and 3 Cornwall Terrace in London's prestigious Regent's Park. This mansion was purchased for a staggering $80 million by Sheikha Moza bin Nasser al Misnat, the third wife of Qatar's former emir. However, the transformation of 2 3 Cornwall Terrace into one of the most expensive real estate parcels in the city cost an additional $40 million. The Grade 1 listed status of this mansion distinguishes it, indicating its outstanding architectural and historical significance. Decimus Burton, the renowned English architect who also created the iconic Regent's Park terraces, designed it. This mansion is a true testament to luxury and extravagance, spanning an impressive 21,000 square feet. It has 13 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, and a plethora of luxurious amenities that will leave you speechless. This mansion has it all, from a spa and a heated swimming pool to a beauty salon and a butler's pantry. Not only that, but it even has nanny quarters, a children's floor, games room, powder rooms, massage areas, two lifts, and a state-of-the-art gymnasium. Meanwhile, the 2-3 Cornwall Terrace, located nearby, has six bedrooms and is a whopping 14,000 square feet. According to sources, the family planned to turn the five-story, grade one listed terraced buildings into a 200 million pound, 17-bedroom mega mansion. The Cornwall the Terrace Mansion is located in one of London's most exclusive neighborhoods, surrounded by other prestigious properties. Emphasizing the Qatari royal family's wealth and authority, it truly shows their refined taste for power as well as their prominent social status. New York City Apartments and Townhouses Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, the former ruling emir of Qatar, made notable real estate purchases in New York. He served as the emir of the state of Qatar from 1995 to 2013. Between 2008 and 2014, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani demonstrated his desire to expand his property portfolio by purchasing several impressive properties in New York City. Sheikh Hamad purchased two adjacent houses in 2008, revealing his vision for expanding his real estate holdings. This was only the start of his foray into the world of New York's luxury real estate. Sheikh Hamad made yet another significant purchase, this time acquiring Abby Rosen's townhouse at 22 East 71st Street in New York for $47 million. This purchase demonstrated his dedication to investing in the finest luxury real estate New York City had to offer. In June 2013, the ruling family of Qatar made headlines as Sheikh Hamad continued his search for exclusive properties. They paid a staggering $35 million for a magnificent house on Beekman Place, New York. York. This high-profile acquisition bolstered their growing portfolio of prestigious properties in the city. However, the acquisitions did not stop there. A contract was signed in January 2014 for the purchase of a stunning 28-foot townhouse at 
43 East 70th Street, which was last occupied by the Qatari princess Sheikha Al Mayasa bin Hamad Al Thani. These purchases clearly demonstrated the Qatari ruling family's keen interest in owning exclusive properties in New York City's most prestigious neighborhoods. Their investments show a desire for luxury and reflected their stature and prominence on the global stage. Waterside Mansion in Turkey in 2015, a remarkable waterfront property in Turkey, known as Ibiginler Yelisa, made headlines when it was sold for a staggering 100 million euros. The buyer was revealed to be Qatari businessman Abdulhadi Mana Al Hajre. However, it later came to light that the mansion had actually been transferred to a real estate holding company owned by Al Hajre, creating a hidden layer of ownership. Behind the scenes, the true buyer of the property was none other than Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad, Al Hajri's son in law, and the current Emir of the state of Qatar. The story unfolded during Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad's visit to Turkey on March 12th, when he also had a meeting with Turkish President Erdogan. Meanwhile, his family had the opportunity to explore Istanbul, and it was reported that Sheikh Anud, Sheikh Tamim's second wife, and Abdul Hadi Mana Al Hajri's daughter instantly fell in love with the magnificent Ibiginla Yelisa. Consequently, Sheikh Tamim decided to acquire the property discreetly, wishing to maintain a low profile. To achieve this, the Qatari businessman's company, Dardanelles Real Estate Investment Corporation, based in Istanbul, assumed ownership of the estate. On March 25th, nestled along the picturesque banks of Istanbul's Bosphorus Strait in the Yeniko district, the mansion had previously been recognized as the world's fourth most expensive residential property in 2014, as reported by Forbes in an article titled The Most Expensive Billionaire Homes in the World. This luxurious abode spans an impressive 5,800 square meters and boasts a grand total of 64 rooms. Shard Skyscraper the Shard, also known as the Shard of Glass, is a 95-story structure in London's vibrant Southwark district. With a height of 309.7 meters, 1,016 feet, it is the tallest building in the United Kingdom, the fourth tallest in Europe, and the 111th tallest in the world. The Shard's construction was made possible through the combined efforts of several entities. The project was spearheaded by Seller Property Group, which announced that it had successfully obtained funding from a group of Qatari investors. The investors bought a 95% stake in the project for 150 million pounds. Seller Property owns the remaining 5% of the company. The Sovereign Wealth Fund of the State of Qatar not only financed the 2.3 billion pound project, but it also owns other prominent Qatari assets in London, including the HSBC Tower. Renzo Piano, the renowned architect whose vision transformed the London Bridge Quarter development, designed this impressive landmark. The Shard was built between 2009 and 2012, ushering in a new chapter in London's ever-changing skyline. The Shard is now an architectural phenomenon with a distinct pyramid-like shape and a gleaming glass facade that reflects the surrounding cityscape. The Shard is more than just a tall structure. It symbolizes a strong partnership between the Seller Property Group and the State of Qatar, demonstrating their shared commitment to pushing the boundaries of architectural innovation. The Qatari Royal Family Luxurious Car Portfolio Sheikha Khalifa bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, the 31-year-old Qatari prince, is popular for his extraordinary collection of personalized, cutting-edge supercars. He is regarded in the Qatari royal household as an automotive connoisseur who is respected throughout the region and beyond. During the summer, Sheikh Khalifa visits the London annual supercar season to display his latest prized possessions from his enviable collection of sought-after limited-edition vehicles. Lamborghini Centenario – $1.9 million the Centenario, which was unveiled in 2016 to commemorate Lamborghini's founder, Ferruccio Lamborghini's 100th birthday, is an exceptional piece of art, with only 40 models ever produced. This makes it a highly sought-after vehicle among car enthusiasts and collectors all over the world. And guess who managed to get one? The Prince of Qatar. He paid a staggering $1.9 million for this luxurious ride. The Centenario has a 6.5-liter naturally aspirated V12 engine under the hood, with an impressive 770 horsepower on tap, this beast can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds, with an incredible top speed of over 217 miles per hour. Power is delivered smoothly via a 7-speed automatic transmission, which provides lightning-fast gear shifts as well as the option for manual control when you want to truly feel the road. However, it is not only about power. The design of the Centenario is a work of art. Its contoured lines and futuristic elements all work well together 
together. Every detail is meticulously crafted to optimize aerodynamic performance. From the striking combination of sharp edges and smooth curves to the large air intakes, prominent rear diffuser, and adjustable rear wing. Not to mention the Centenario's lightweight construction. This supercar achieves remarkable agility and responsiveness on the road thanks to its extensive use of carbon fiber reinforced polymer, CFRP, in the monocoque chassis, body panels, and various components. The Lamborghini Centenario embodies true excellence, combining breathtaking performance, exquisite design, and exclusivity in a single extraordinary package. It's a vehicle that truly embodies the Qatari Prince's lavish lifestyle. Bugatti Devo $6 million The Bugatti Devo, limited to only 40 units worldwide, represents the pinnacle of automotive artistry and engineering. It was purchased by royalty, who recognized its exceptional qualities and paid a jaw-dropping $6 million for this masterpiece. The Bugatti Devo exudes elegance and power, as evidenced by the striking dark gray exterior finish. The hypercar's sleek body is accented by contrasting red, blue, and white stripes that pay homage to the colors of the French flag. Every angle demonstrates a perfect balance of sleek design and fine craftsmanship. The Bugatti Devo, riding on special wheels with a captivating dual-tone finish in black and silver, emanates elegance. The brake calibers, which are painted in a vibrant shade of bright red, add a touch of visual intensity, enhancing the vehicle's visibility on the road. When you step into the interior of the Bugatti Devo, you're welcomed to a blend of luxury and sportiness. The finest materials, painstakingly crafted, create an environment that surrounds the driver in comfort. The level of detail is astounding, with each component tailored to meet the demands of the high-performance driving. The Bugatti Devo is powered by the Chiron's legendary 8.0-liter quad-turbocharged W16 engine, which produces 1,500 horsepower. The Devo's immense power, combined with advanced aerodynamics and precision engineering, propels it to new heights of speed and agility. The Bugatti Devo is a hypercar fit for royalty. It is a work of automotive art due to its exceptional design, uncompromising performance, and exclusivity. Lamborghini Sian, $3.5 million. The Lamborghini Sion presents what you may have thought impossible or cringe, a purple car. This car is a true rarity, with only 63 coupes and 19 Roadster versions ever produced, making it highly sought after. The Prince of Qatar paid a whopping $3.5 million for it. This price reflects the Lamborghini Sion's exceptional engineering, meticulous craftsmanship, and unrivaled performance. The design language of the Lamborghini Sion demonstrates Lamborghini's commitment to pushing boundaries and defying expectations. Its sleek lines, combined with distinct streamlined features, give it a distinct road presence. The Sion is powered by a groundbreaking hybrid powertrain. This Italian masterpiece produces an astounding 819 horsepower by combining a V12 engine with an advanced supercapacitor-based hybrid system. The end result, blistering acceleration, incredible speed, and a breathtaking driving experience. Once inside the Lamborghini Sion, you are immersed in a world of splendor. The cabin features a mix of luxurious materials and cutting-edge technology. Every detail has been accurately designed to provide maximum comfort while keeping the driver connected and in command. The Lamborghini Sion delivers unparalleled performance. It can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 2.8 seconds and has a top speed of more than 220 miles per hour. The Lamborghini Sion exemplifies the Italian manufacturer's dedication to pushing the limits of automotive excellence. It is a true icon in the world of supercars due to its limited availability, incredible design, and awe-inspiring effectiveness. Ferrari Monza SP2 $1.85 million the Prince's Ferrari Monza SP2 exudes subtle sophistication with its dual-tone gray finish. This subtle exterior, however, belies the exclusivity and significance of this magnificent machine. The Monza SP2, along with its sibling, the SP1, was unveiled in 2018 and marked the beginning of Ferrari's Icona series, an exceptional program dedicated to creating special cars inspired by the brand's classic models. The Ferrari Monza SP2 is a very rare sight, with only 499 examples produced worldwide. These exceptional vehicles were sold exclusively to special patrons of the iconic Italian manufacturer, ensuring their exclusivity and attractiveness. Each Monza SP2 cost approximately $1.85 million. The Monza SP2 is a work of art in terms of design and engineering. Its breathtaking design pays homage to Ferrari's rich history while incorporating modern styling cues. This two-seat supercar embraces the thrill of open-top driving, providing an unmatched connection 
connection to the road and the elements. The captivating exterior conceals a performance-driven heart. The Monza SP2 is powered by a powerful V12 engine that produces an awe-inspiring symphony of power and precision. This supercar propels itself to extraordinary speeds thanks to its remarkable engineering, providing an unforgettable driving experience for those fortunate enough to sit behind the wheel. The Prince's Ferrari Monza SP2 is a true collector's item, a rare gem that embodies Ferrari's dedication to excellence and exclusivity. It stands out among modern Ferraris due to its limited production, timeless design, and breathtaking performance. Other Luxury Rides Along with his impressive fleet of luxury vehicles, in 2016 the Qatari Prince was spotted in London with some of his other cars, like the McLaren P1, Ferrari LaFerrari, and Porsche 918 Spyder. In addition to this, the Prince purchased a Bugatti Veyron Rembrandt, a rare and exclusive model that cost more than $2 million. However, the Prince's collection did not end there. The following year, he was spotted at London's annual supercar season, driving a Pagani Huayra BC, a Lamborghini Centenario, a Ferrari F12 TDF, and Bugatti Chiron. Each of these vehicles is an engineering marvel, with top-notch technology and performance unrivaled by most vehicles on the road today. As expected, the rest of the royal family has been seen in a variety of luxury vehicles. The Bugatti Veyron Vitesse Rembrandt Legend, the sleek Bugatti Chiron Grey, the striking LaFerrari Aperta, and even the open-top Lamborghini Centenario Roadster. Wow. Each vehicle reflects their refined taste for luxurious automobiles. From electrifying hybrids to roaring combustion engines, the Qatari royal family has curated a collection of automotive marvels that captivate the imagination and redefine the limits of luxury on the road. Mega Yachts the Qatar royal family's extravagance does not end with their stunning collection of luxury cars. The Qatar royal family's lavishness extends to the high seas, as evidenced by their magnificent yacht. This floating palace reflects their taste and desire for exceptional items. From its beautiful design to its brimming amenities and detailed craftsmanship, the mega yacht is a true symbol of the family's luxurious lifestyle. When the Qatari royals aren't at home, they take relaxation to new heights by sunbathing on their extraordinary floating Palaces. Among these notable ships, one truly stands out, the Katara, which belongs to none other than the Emir himself. The Katara is widely regarded as one of the world's most lavish and expensive mega yachts, and it's easy to see why. This incredible vessel has a staggering price tag of nearly $400 million and measures an impressive 124 meters in length. But that's not all. It has a helicopter pad and multiple decks that can accommodate up to 35 guests and a crew of 90 people. The rest of the details are enclosed in the yacht. The Qataris value their privacy, and as such, little information is known about the interior furnishings of the yacht, which has almost nothing at all exposed on the exterior. But for a yacht of its caliber, we can guess there will be luxurious amenities, such as multiple swimming pools, spas, jacuzzis, gyms, cinemas, dining areas, super comfortable bedrooms, and exquisite lounges. Can you imagine all that luxury on board? But wait, the Katara is just one of the many magnificent yachts ever owned by Qatar's royal family. However, the Katara is said to be the last standing yacht of the royal family, as a devastating incident occurred in 2019 at a shipyard in Doha, when three yachts belonging to the royal family were engulfed in flames. Each of these yachts was worth tens of millions of dollars. Phew, what a huge loss. All in all, it serves as a stark reminder of the Qatari royal's grandeur and vast wealth. Despite these setbacks, they maintain their extraordinary lifestyle, sailing the seas on their mega yacht, private jets, and private airlines. Qatar's royal family has extended their luxury mastery not only to the seas, but also to the skies. They established Qatar Amiri Flight, a prestigious airline catering solely to royal family members and prominent government officials. In 1977, this airline provides a truly exceptional flying experience that befits its status. Qatar Amiri Flight currently has a fleet of 14 airplanes. Among these outstanding aircraft are three jumbo Boeing 747-8s, the airline's most expensive commercial jets, with each aircraft costing costing more than $400 million. These magnificent jumbo jets epitomize splendor and extravagance in air travel. Qatar Amiri Flight operates a variety of Airbus aircraft in addition to the Boeing 747-8s. Notably, they own an Airbus A340-300, a true marvel, worth between $350 and $500 million. This aircraft symbolizes the royal family's taste for grandeur and sophistication. The remaining aircraft in Qatar Amiri Flight's fleet are worth between $100 million and $300 million 
million and include a variety of Airbus models that demonstrate the airline's commitment to unparalleled luxury. These aircraft bear witness to the royal family's unwavering commitment to providing an unparalleled travel experience for their esteemed members and high-ranking officials. The Qatari royal family continues to redefine luxury and set new standards of indulgence, whether soaring through the skies or cruising the seas. The Billion Dollar Art Collection of the Qatari Royals the Qatari royal family's taste for luxury extends beyond super yachts, supercars, and private planes. They are passionate about art and have spent a fortune amassing a breathtaking collection worth billions of dollars. Thousands of paintings and collectibles have been acquired by the family over the years, each adding a touch of splendor to their ever-expanding art empire. Several artworks in their collection have fetched exorbitant prices, reaching tens of millions of dollars. One notable example is Mark Rothko's masterpiece, White Center, which sold for a whopping $72.84 million. Andy Warhol's Men in Her Life, valued at an impressive $63.4 million, is another remarkable piece. These purchases not only demonstrate the family's elegant taste, but also their eagerness to acquire the most sought-after works in the art world. The Qatari royal family made headlines in 2011 when they purchased Paul Cezanne's iconic painting, The Card Players, for a record-breaking $250 million. According to The Art Wolf, this purchase secured its position as the world's most expensive painting at the time. Even today, the card players is regarded as one of the most valuable works of art ever acquired. The Qatari royal family's love of art is more than a show of wealth. It is a deep appreciation for the beauty and cultural significance that art portrays. Their extensive art collection demonstrates their tenacious dedication to preserving and promoting the world's artistic treasures. With each acquisition, they solidify their position as prominent art patrons, leaving an indelible mark on the art world for future future generations. Qatari Royals Sports Investments QSI the Qatari royal family's love of sports matches their love of luxury. They have successfully hosted a number of international championships, including the 2006 Asian Games, the 2015 IBA World Boxing Championship, and the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Among various sports, football unquestionably holds a special place in the hearts of the Qatari royals. Paris Saint-Germain PSG One of the most notable investments made by Qatar Sports Investments QSI, a state-owned investment company founded by the Emir in 2006, 2004, was the 100 million euro purchase of Paris Saint-Germain (PSG) in 2011. QSI has consistently injected significant funds into the club since then, totaling hundreds of millions of euros spent on transfers and player wages. Since QSI took over, PSG has won seven Ligue 1 titles, four Coupe de France titles, and three Coupe de la Ligue titles thanks to financial backing from the Qatari Royals. Malaga Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser Al Thani, a member of Qatar's royal family, purchased Malaga, a Spanish football club, for 36 million euros in 2010. Malaga experienced a period of rapid growth and achievement under Al Thani's ownership. Notably, during the 2011-2012 season, the club finished fourth in La Liga, earning them their first ever qualification for the UEFA Champions League. However, the club's financial situation has worsened in recent years, and Al Thani has been accused of mismanagement. Malaga was relegated from La Liga in 2018 and now plays in the Segunda División. A local court ruled in 2020 that Altani and his family owe the club 8.5 million euros. Altani has denied the allegations and stated that he has no intention of selling the club. FIFA World Cup 2022 in 2010, Qatar was awarded the privilege to host the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Qatar spent over $229 billion on infrastructure and facilities for the recently concluded World Cup. These investments have transformed the country's sporting landscape, as Qatar embarked on remarkable initiatives to construct excellent stadiums, transportation networks, and lodging facilities in preparation for the global football exhibition. The lavish lifestyle of Qatar's royal family provides an enthralling glimpse into the limitless opportunities that a $2 trillion fortune can provide. From magnificent yachts and priceless artworks to breathtaking sports investments, their opulent spending reflects a world where luxury knows no bounds. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click on any of these cards to watch more interesting videos.